All right, you guys, I wanted to show you what it looks like living in my parents' basement while we're having our new house built. This is the entryway to the basement. We have our little basket over there for mail or whatever we need to just throw in there. I told my mom, just throw anything in there. You know, anything flying around, even though I try to always never have anything lying around in their house. Um, there's a picture of me on my wedding day and then Evelette when she was a baby, so it's kind of cute right by the entrance. And then we have this curtain here that's just nice to draw clothes when we ha want to have a little bit more privacy. It's just hung with a tension rod, so it's nice that they can just take it down after we leave. But yeah, here is where we are, we are living right now. So there is like just a big space here, like entertainment area, and then just like it's all big open space. So I have my clothing rack here just at the bottom of the stairs. This is all my newer pieces that I have that I'm blogging and wearing. So I like to have those right there. You can tell they're all my favorite colors. So this is my mom's Ikea storage and we're storing like all of our photo albums and vases and like the kids craft stuff in there and just nice to kind of keep organized that way. And then I have my poofs down there and our little runner from our old house and then just storing some fun knickknacks up on top. It's nice having the fake plant because we do live in the basement so we don't get a whole lot of light. So it is nice just to add a little greenery to the room. And then of course my rocker. And my mom's uh, floor lamp. We have our garbage can tucked back there. This is kind of my closet. I have bags down there and then bags hanging up and shoes on the bottom, the bottom racks. And then just all my clothes. So I have like coats and thicker jackets and then lighter jackets and then longer things in the back. And these are all just like my tops. So that's that and then skirts on the end but that's kind of how I have it organized and then in this big thing that used to be in our room that's where all of our fold-up clothes are so like jeans and pajamas and that sort of thing and then there's my little pink chair and then this is uh, the furnace closet and my mom has storage in there and then this is my mom's little dresser and we're kind of using this as our temporary office and then we have baskets down here just organizing gloves and hats and then our filing cabinet and uh, this is a cool basket because it actually uh, folds down so it's really nice for just whenever you need a basket you can pop it up and have a nice big basket so that's kind of as you walk in what it looks like and then I'll show you just the entertainment area This is mostly my mom and dad's furniture. So we have these recliners. I think Richard's in heaven having a recliner, even though I think we both agree that we're not the biggest fans of leather just because it doesn't feel as nice when you sit in it, you know, like you stick to it. It's not like, ooh, cozy, but it is nice to keep clean though, I have to say. And then we have all the kids' toys over here. Their Legos are up there, so Holt can't get a hold of them, and then all the toys that he can play with are within reach. And then the TV, and their books and stuff. And then I brought our coffee table and this rug. I think this rug just kind of makes it a little bit more homey and cute. And then just my computer and laptop stuff. And this is the chair that I usually sit in, just because I prefer cloth. And then this is the boys' room. The girls actually sleep upstairs just because there's not enough room for all of them to sleep in one room. It would be too tight. So they sleep in here. And then the girls sleep upstairs. It is nice because we do have windows in each of the bedrooms, so it's not a complete cave. So it is really nice that way. We can get some sunlight in our rooms. But here's Holt's crib. Here's Hugh's bed that we just have two mattresses on top of each other, and then their little chair, and the other, and then the opposite wall, we have their robot shelf from their old room, and then my mom's IKEA organizers we're using, it's a nice little makeshift um, diaper changing area, and then Hugh's clothes are in there, 
and then they have a closet which is really nice and I'm actually storing our pantry stuff in there Right, we have a pod, so I didn't know if it would be good to have it out in the pod where it gets hot and cold just because of plastic and rubber, the rubber lining. So I'm storing them all in here just so they stay nice and safe. And then their clothes are over there. So that's that closet. But isn't this pretty darn nice for a basement? Like, we're living pretty fabulous. And it's still just a basement so it's very very nice we're so blessed this is Richard and I's room we have a window as well and then my mom's dresser is what I'm using for my vanity kind of area and then we hung this big mirror in here mirrors are a girl's best friend anybody's best friend really they make our room look so much bigger we have our bench and kind of the whole setup that we had in our old house I did get some new lamps that I love. Lighting is key, I tell you, even in the new house, I'm like, bigger windows, bigger windows. And then over here, we just have like a random little um, drawer stuff that I have my swimsuits and stuff in, and the mirror on the ground. And there's my mom's horse picture. But yeah, that is it. Oh, over behind the door is the closet, and this is where Richard keeps all of his hanging up clothes. So it's really nice. And then like all my boxes down there is where I'm keeping those just to keep them nice and safe. I don't want to put those in the pod. But yeah, that is what it looks like living in my parents' basement. I think we did a pretty good job. I'm like surprised. I thought it would be a hot mess but we actually made it pretty homey, so I'm so pleased. I hope you guys think so too. I think I'm actually gonna show you my little blogging space as well. Let's go look. All right, so I also wanted to show you guys my little blogging space that my parents let me have in their exercise room. They're so nice. This is pretty much what's left of their exercise room because they didn't really ever use it. My mom's kind of created her own little office over there. And then they have like all their DVD collection. They have quite a good collection. So that's where we go if we want to watch a movie. And then I have this space over here. I was so excited to have a space. Like it could be like in a daylight room where I could take photos and film videos. Just have a space where it really felt like me and felt like home. So I'm so excited that I have this area and I can do like outfit pictures and yeah, it's just so fun and it's just a total tease of what our house is going to look like. So lots of whites, lots of tans, a few pinks, golds, metallics, Moroccan, totally. This is what it's going to look like so I'm so excited. I got these feather hats for an early birthday present and I'm so obsessed with them. They are so detailed and gorgeous. I can't wait to hang them in the new house. The new house just feels like forever away, so I'm trying to be as patient as possible. And just trying to enjoy the process, even though it feels really hard at times. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, there's the old mirror that we had in our old house. And then over here is my outfit mirror where I take my outfits, my outfit photos. So yeah, that was in the old house too. So I hope you guys like this video and I will definitely be back filming videos here in the future. But I hope you enjoy where we're living. This is definitely an adventure and I'm so excited to share this with you guys and just have you guys be a part of it and yeah, good things to come. I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye!